Hi, hello guys. Long time no see, man. We hope and pray that uh, you forgive us. Hey, it's been hectic, but we are back. We are back and we are doing engineering. We have been requested to do what is so called mechanic of machines. Some few problems and so on. And a friend of us struggle with this problem. It's not a, it's an it's an easy problem if you know the procedure and your previous mathematics mathematics uh, basics. And thanks, man, for the support. I've realized that this channel is now growing. People are supporting it. Keep supporting it. Send those problems. Uh, share the videos. Encourage people to subscribe so that we can all grow and share this. Uh, maybe in no distance future we will have a better equipment maybe to uh, to make this a little bit more easier with big uh, uh, whiteboard and cameras and so on. But uh, that's not the case. Therefore now that's, it doesn't stop us from doing what we are doing. And we are really grateful. Even to good Samaritans who promised us to buy some better equipment. We really appreciate it. But listen here. A flat belt drive transmits power between two parallel shafts 3.2 meters apart. The driving pulley, the one that is driving, has a diameter of 800 millimeters and rotates at 300 revs per minute. And the driven pulley has a diameter of 240 millimeters. But due to slip, listen to that statement, due to slip, rotates at 940 revs per minute. Basically, this information alone, it tells you that a slip will occur at a smaller pulley. And it is for that reason that we are expecting this smaller pulley to have a smaller angle than the larger pulley. And if that is the case, then that smaller pulley, that, that smaller angle rather, it's going to be our limiting factor. That's another information I wanted to give. Now, let's convert this into a sketch. Let's convert this into a sketch. They say the first one is what? It's larger, it's 800. And the smaller one, it's smaller because it's 240. Now, this is a revolution. This is 180 this side. This is 180 that side. This is 180 and 180. Now, now, look. If the belt rotates clockwise, it won't go out there. We use joggies to increase the angle of contact so that uh, uh, the transmission of power should be efficient. That's the main reason of a joggy. So it will form this angle there. It will form that angle there. So this belt won't go out at 180. It will go out at that angle alpha. And then this one it's also like this. So this is the tight side. This is the slack side. Wow. Because they, it forms a little bit of a curve. As an indication that it's a tight side. And this is T2. This is T1. Right. Right. Okay. You are told that uh, this one here, it rotates at 300 revs per minute. And you are also told that it has a diameter of 0 0.8. But it has a radius. The radius of 0 0.8 is 0 0.4 meters. This one, it, 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 has, it has what? It has a diameter of... Okay, let me make it small to distinguish between the two. It has a diameter of 0 0.24 meters. And with a radius of... Half of 0 0.24 meters, it's, it's 0 0.12 meters. Yes, half of 24 is 12. Yes, yes, 0 0.12 meters. Right, right. And then you are also given that it has a speed. Let's call this speed N2. It has a speed of 
due to sleep, 940 rest per minute. This belt, this belt, it has, it has a mass. This is very important as well, guys. Of 700 gram per meter of length. We work in per meter. It is 7, 0.7 kilogram per meter. For every one meter, this belt has a mass of 0 0.7 kilogram. Now, now, because of because of uh, 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 the mass is given, it means the TC, the centrifugal tension, the centrifugal tension, which is equal to mv squared. The centrifugal tension. This centrifugal tension, it is the one that normally um, put the belt off the pulley. That is why we have to, it has to be tightened so that the belt can can sit nice and tight on the pulley. But this is the this is the, the, the effect of this centrifugal tension is to is to pull the belt off the pulley. And this is the formula to calculate. You only gonna use this throughout, unless otherwise. If you are told that. Uh, a maximum power of so much then you know that tc is equal to one third of the maximum tension so if no maximum power is given you follow this throughout your calculations i just wanted to pass that remember someone came with a problem uh, while doing it, I have to feed some information as to here and there and so on. Right. Right. So, this is centrifugal tension. So, we've got this, but we don't have velocity. It can be calculated. Velocity. Hey, guys, I'm struggling with my markers, but uh, I will interchange them. Velocity is equal to pi dn over 60. And it is equal to pi multiplied by the diameter is given as 0 0.8 multiplied by 300 over 60. Why 60? To convert this rest per minute to rest per second. That's why. Right. And it's equal to what? It's equal to... It's equal to second function pi multiplied by 0.8 multiplied by 300 divided by 60. 12,566. 12, 12, meters per second. This is the linear speed of that belt. Meters per second is the linear speed. Now, now we can now calculate this. TC and it's equal to what? 0, 0,7 multiplied by 12,566 all squared. And it's equal to 0, 0.7 multiplied by 12,566 squared. It's equal to what? 110,533. 110,5333 Newton. Newton. Right. But now let's find this angle. This angle of contact, which is theta. You are told that the center distance between these two is equal to what? 3,2 meters. Now, 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 from grade 11, on some of your theorems, you were told to make some constructions and so on. So if you are to make it from this center here, Safe, no, hey, sorry, 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 guys. From the center here, say for instance to the center of this one, we're going to have what? The distance from here to here is R. But the distance from here to here is R minus small r. Is R minus small r. The distance from here to there is R. The distance from here 
today is big R minus small r. And this angle there is alpha. This angle here, this is theta. And it is our angle of contact. Now, 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 now. A simple grade 11 fundamental trigonometric identities. Alpha or, or an angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Meaning it's 90 degrees here. Why 90 degrees? For, for me to claim this angle as a hypotenuse, we must have a right angle triangle. And what is hypotenuse? It's a line facing directly 90 degrees. Another great 11 nice theorem. And it's equal to what? Sine theta is equal to opposite, which is big R minus small r, over hypotenuse. Therefore, sine theta is equal to 0, 0,4 minus. 0, 0,12. This is a radius of this one. This is the radius of that one. Over the center distance, our hypotenuse, 3,2. Therefore, this is alpha rather, sorry. Alpha there, sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, alpha is equal to, alpha is equal to, let's check. It's 0.4 minus 0.12 divided by 3,2 arc sine thereof. 5,02. It is 5,02 degrees. Now, now, you've got 5,02, 5,02, 5,02. Now, now, this is 180. The distance, this is a revolution 360 degrees, half of it is 180 degrees, plus alpha. But there are two alphas. There are two. This belt goes out there and it enters there rotation wise. So there are two alphas. So it's equal to what? Theta is equal to 180 plus 180 plus plus. 2 multiplied by 5,02 is equal to what? Is equal to 180 plus open brackets 2 multiplied by 5,02 closing brackets 190,04 190,04 degrees this one but now what about that one? this one will be Theta, this is for larger pulley rather. Larger pulley. This one is for small pulley. Small pulley. Yes. Theta is equal to 180 minus 100, 100, 180 minus the distance from here to there is 180. We minus. Why? Because the belt enters before 180. Here we add. Why? Because the belt exits after 180. That's why. Those, those are very, very important. So it's minus 2 multiplied by 5,02. And it's equal to what? It's equal to 180 minus open brackets 2 multiplied by 5,02. 169,96 169,96 degrees I can as well convert it already to to radians divide by 57.3 2,96 six. Why? It is our limiting factor because it's smaller than 190. And even the statement 
told that already at the beginning that at a smaller angle due to slip it's gonna rotate at this much so this is our limiting factor guys let me delete here let me delete here and write that angle there one six nine comma nine six which is equals to two comma nine six six all right all right let me delete here wait a second okay sorry 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 let me delete this i already got okay the velocity i think i will need velocity in future i've already calculated tc okay no it's fine it's fine everything will be in order there 12,566 velocity right 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 then we have to cut now 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 let's say our e mu theta is equal to what then we must get some markers man hey, we forgot this markers really uh, it's e mu theta can you see properly is equal to what mu e it's what it's 0 comma 3 multiplied by 2 comma 966 is equal to what it's equal to second function lean open brackets 0.3 multiply by 2 comma 966 closing brackets answer is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 4 3 4 2 comma 4 3 5 yes 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 right 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 now now then that the mass was given you cannot go and say t1 over t2 is equal to e mu theta no you cannot you cannot what you have to do now is to say is to say t1 minus tc over t2 minus tc is equal to e exponent mu theta excellent exponent mu theta and then and then this is given now we calculate t2 remember guys talk is equal to t1 minus t2 multiplied by the radius we've got this and this we don't have that, that that's where we are going actually now it is three Oh, apparently this video we're gonna we're gonna pause it guys we don't have 300 3000 rather minus 110 comma 110 comma comma what 533 i think divide by t2 minus 110.533 is equal to what is equal to 2,435 that one now now let's play with math guys i don't have space here t2 will be what t2 will be equal to let's do it it will be 3000 minus 110,533 equals to divide by divide by two comma four three five equals to plus hundred and ten comma five three three answer is twelve twelve ninety eight twelve ninety eight comma comma seven newton right now 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 let's finish this let's finish this problem we are done we are done let's finish this problem now they say we have to calculate the torque on each side 
the torque on each side. Torque for larger pulley is equal to T1 minus T2 multiplied by the radius of the larger pulley. And it is equal to what? 3000 is given minus 1298,7 multiplied by multiply by the radius of the larger pulley is equal to what? is equal to 3000 minus 1298,7 is equal to what? multiply by 0 0.4 680 uh, 680 comma comma 5 comma 5 newton meter now now the torque on the small pulley that one not this one is equal to what is equal to 3000 minus 12 98,7 multiply by the radius of the smaller pool. And it is equal to what? It's equal to, let's see, 3000 minus 1298.7 multiply by 0.12. It's equal to what? 204,2. It's equal to 204,2. Newton Newton meter the units for the torque you have calculated the torque on each shaft the last problem they say what calculate between the pulley and the belt okay calculate the torque on each shaft and determine the efficiency and determine the efficiency let's play it nicely guys let's play it nice Let's play it nice. It's done. This problem is done. I think this is only this is our this is only gonna be our hey guys. We are we are struggling a little bit. This is only gonna be our uh, problem. I will see to it next week, maybe or a week thereafter. Someone is not here next week. I will see to it that we got proper equipment. It's just that I was forced to do this problem. Actually, I was not, but. Uh, Let's hope next week, man. I am struggling with markers and so on, but it's not your problem, it's mine. Let's do this one. Look, look, efficiency is equal to the output over the input multiplied by 100. But the output will be there because this is the this is the one connected to the motor. But look, 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 look at this one. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's T1 minus. T2 multiply by the radius, the output radius. Multiply by the speed at the output there. Over, okay, let's say over 60. This one, or let me, let me put it this way, this way, 2 pi Okay, man, it's still fine this way. Let's let's leave it this way. N O, yes, yes, all over T one minus T two multiply by the input there is the output torque input multiply by the speed of the input. This one is gonna cancel this one. So therefore, we're gonna be left. The radius time is two, is diameter. Diameter multiply by the, that speed over the input diameter there multiply by that speed multiply by that hundred. This is the formula we're gonna use to calculate the efficiency. And it's equal to what? It's zero comma eight multiply by three hundred. All over this one it's zero comma two four multiply by 940 and it's equal to what it's equal to 0.8 multiply by 300 divide by 
Open brackets 0.24 multiply by 940. Closing brackets. Answer. Go. Take it. Are we doing the right thing here? This should be the output. This is this is the information referred to. I've done them vice versa, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Output. What is the diameter at the output? It's 0, 0,24. Sorry. It's 0. It's 0, 0,24 multiplied by the speed at the output. Due to sleep is 940 over 0, 0,8 diameter there multiply by the speed of 300. We multiply that by 100%. Okay, sorry guys, sorry. It's 0 0.24 multiply by 940 divide by open brackets 0 0.8 Multiply by 300, closing brackets, multiply by 100. It's 94%. The answer here is 94%. This is the efficiency of transmission. This is the efficiency of transmission. Guys, someone who sent this problem, I think, you've got an idea now what's going on. We never used complex formula he was we were only using a simple basic trigonometric uh, grade 11 information simple as that but i will see you next time guys i'll see you next time i thought we'll do the second video but uh, please 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 I, I apologize in advance you'll see us after two weeks i think but mwah.